Hey, welcome to Lovable AF. I'm Grateful Sherry. So today, what I learned by getting hung up on after telling someone to shut up. <laughs> All right, here's the deal. Words, right? They have power, but they only have the power that we give them. So I was on Facebook today scrolling and uh, somebody was posting that basically people in their lives who don't swear how great that is. And so then people were kind of going back and forth and talking about it. And basically she, her thing was that people who swear like myself on their lives, that is going to be triggering rape victims because they might've heard that, uh, terminal, they might've heard the F word or whatever, um, while they were being raped. And immediately it like, like I got like really, really, really triggered. And then I was like, okay, because here's the deal. People are like, oh, but people who use the F word to like make their point, like they don't have to do that. And here's the deal. It's just part of how I am. It's part of how I speak. I speak really true and raw and clearly. And it's, it, so it was felt like, oh my gosh, am I perpetrating on these poor women? <laughs> so here's why I'm going to tell you that I'm not fucking doing that. <laughs> and it's all about shut up. So years ago, I don't know if you, guys, if you guys remember, shut up was like, everybody was like, shut up. It was like this, you know what I mean? Like it was a popular culture thing. And I was raised that you never say shut up. Like I could have sworn, but if I said shut up, oh, ho, ho, I was in for it. And so I was at this transformational course and there was a, a, a leader in the front and then a whole group of people. And um, this one woman was up there and she was complaining. She was complaining into the microphone and he goes, shut up. <laughs> the, the, the leader did. And another woman stands up in the audience and goes, that is disrespectful to say that. And this woman actually became my mother-in-law. But anyway, they go up and she, he's like, come on up on stage. So they're talking back and forth. And he's like, shut up's just a word. And he's like, let's just try this. And he goes right into her face and yells, shut up. And he goes, go ahead, you say it back to me. And she, so she's like, shut up. And they're yelling, shut up, back and forth at each other. And I'm sitting in the back of the room. I was volunteering. And I was like... Cause here's the problem is in popular culture. And when I was out with friends, people would be like, shut up. And I would get completely shut down. It didn't matter if they were kidding. It didn't matter if they were having fun. I was completely shut down. Just absolutely like, Ugh. and watching them scream shut up at one another. I was like, oh, I get it. It only has the power that I say it has. It only has the um, hold on me that I say it does. And so <laughs> my mother who taught me this and who also got very, very shut down around shut up, I called her up. I'm like, hey, so I learned this thing and I want to give you some access to this. <laughs> and I tell her a little bit about it and I go, shut up. And she hung up on me. <laughs> anyway, we laugh about it now, but she has access to shut up now as well, just like I do. But here's the thing. As I was listening to that woman or as I was reading her thing in the comments, and basically feeling like, oh my gosh, if I'm saying fuck, I'm perpetrating on these poor women. And here's the deal. I am a survivor. I'm a, a, a assault survivor. <laughs> um, and here's the deal. As one of those women, I do not allow certain words or certain things to hit me and ruin my day. I took that power back. And acting like women who have been abused or perpetrated or raped, that they have no power over the words that they can and cannot hear, I don't believe is useful. Because I, um, there are things, right? Yeah, there's a trigger. There's this tri a movie trigger. It's a woman and she dresses up like a guy. It's it's not a Barbara Streisand's one where she went to the Jewish school. It's a, like a, what would it be like, uh, 80s version kind of. And um, when that one come, like I've seen that movie and like it immediately dropped out my stomach. And here's the deal. I get it. I get being triggered. But when you get triggered, here's the best part I can say about this is it's an invitation to no longer have that affect you. I saw that movie. I didn't sit down to watch the movie, but it, that movie was on again. And instead of feeling like complete shit all the way back to when I was seven and just so scared and disgusted and all of that, you know what? I was like, I'm not allowing this movie to ruin what is, I, that has no power over me anymore. That movie doesn't have to have any power over me. Just like words don't have to have any power over you. We get to say 
what feels okay and what doesn't feel okay. And if you really don't like the swear swear words, honestly, I mean, level AF, I'm probably gonna say as fuck. It's probably just a, you know, just a warning there. But when, and, and I might not be for you, and that's totally cool. I have no issue with that. But pretending that women who have survived assault don't still have the power to let go of the triggers, the things that come up for them, and, and creeping around on these eggshells, because nobody was like, oh gosh, we gotta make sure this movie never comes on when Sherry's around. No, <laughs> right? We have the power and we can take it back. And, and then if you're not in a place to do that, if this stuff is upsetting you, what I'm saying, don't worry about it. But for me, I was very clear. I was no longer going to let shut up sh shut me down. I was no longer going to let that movie have power over my life and st send me into a tailspin of depression for weeks. It was a no-go for me anymore because I was like, no, I get it. Bad shit happened and I'm standing up and I get to say, and I get to be okay even if someone tells me shut up right to my face. Even if somebody pops that movie on, I still get to be okay because I fucking said, and I worked through the trauma of around that. I worked through the trigger around it and everybody has the power to do that. Uh, recently, I just got very clear. It's like, oh, okay, you are supposed to help people through some trauma. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, really? <laughs> so guys, if you're a mom and you've got some trauma and you want to show up and do the things that you're meant to do, show up for your kids, stop that generational shit from moving past you. Because, you know, that's been the thing that uh, my dad was an alcoholic and I've talked to him, talked about him a little bit in these videos, but this is one thing that I he did. He had lots of abuse in his background, lots, all kinds. And he did not perpetrate any of that on me. He was a hard stop, a hard no, none of that's getting through here. Nothing, none of that is happening. And so I took that to, and, and I've, I really appreciate that. That's an amazing thing. Somebody who didn't have help, who didn't have support, just decided they were not going to do that, period. And so that for me was like, okay, uh, nothing is getting past me to my son. <laughs> all that generational trauma, all that shit, that's staying on the other side. I will do whatever it takes to deal with this so it doesn't get over here on him. And um, protecting his light's been a big joy for me. It's been my purpose ever since he was born. And then it learned, it taught me how to protect my own light. So if any of that stuff is like, yes, that resonates for me. I'm a mom, I wanna do this. Message me, let's see about working together. Um, and in case nobody has told you yet today, be prepared, it's gonna be a swear word. You are lovable as fuck just the way you are, and I'll see you another day.